For the model year 2002 Saab 95, Saab has introduced a refined airbag system. The new system takes into account whether or not the driver and front passenger are buckled up and also determines the seat position. A new SRS control module is able to define impact force more reliably by using two new front bumper impact sensors. By using sensors in the seat belt buckles, along with seat position sensors, the control module gathers information and then controls the way in which the front airbags are to be inflated, and the result is a safer Saab. The key to the SRS system is the control module, component 331. It can recognize a situation arising from a collision and inflate the airbag in multiple stages with varying degrees of force. Inside the module are two accelerometers, a microprocessor, a reserve power source, and a voltage converter. New for 2002 is a two-stage airbag with multiple types of deployment. The driver's airbag is mounted inside the steering wheel and has a capacity of 60 liters. It's a dual-stage type. Stage 1 deploys 80% of the airbag capacity, and Stage 2 deploys the remaining 20%. The interval between the stages controls the amount of force. The inflation force depends on the position of the driver's seat, the collision force, and the seat belt buckle status. If a short person is driving and the seat is 30% or less from its frontmost position, stage one is deployed immediately. This inflates the airbag to 80% of its capacity. A safety deployment of stage two occurs 100 milliseconds later. If the driver has the seat at more than 30% from its frontmost position, airbag deployment will occur in virtually one stage, with only a 5 to 20 millisecond delay between the two stages. This is because there is a greater volume for the airbag to occupy and more force is required. If the collision force is low, stage 1 of the airbag will be activated, followed by a safety deployment of stage 2 after 100 milliseconds. Seat belt buckle status also plays a role. The seat belt sensor notes that if the belt isn't buckled, then the airbags will deploy sooner because the driver or passenger is unrestrained. Note that the belt pretensioners will not be deployed if the seat belt buckle is not fastened. The Saab SRS system consists of the following components. The SRS control module. It is found in the center console and it's the heart of the system. Note that for the first time, the SRS control module communicates on the I-Bus. There are two front impact sensors, and they are located on the front bumper rail. They detect any collision force and send the information to the SRS module. The front seat position sensors detect whether or not the front seats are in a forward position. The seat belt buckle sensors are used to detect whether the seat belt buckle is locked or not. The seat belt tensioner's function is similar to previous models, but note that they are of a newer design. The two-stage front airbags are both of the dual-stage type. Note that there are two electrical connectors, a green connector for stage one and a yellow connector for stage two. The side airbags use the same door-mounted side impact sensors as before, plus new side impact sensors in the SRS control module. As mentioned earlier, the SRS control module is on the I-Bus. When the ignition is turned on, the SRS control module, component 331, will start a diagnosis that runs for three to four seconds. This self-test checks the electric igniters with the wiring harness, power supply, microprocessor, front impact sensors, and side impact sensors. The diagnosis continues as long as the ignition is in the on position. The driver's airbag will deploy based on the information received by the SRS regarding seat position, impact force, and seat belt buckle status. It will deploy in two stages. Red indicates stage one, and blue indicates stage two. The passenger's airbag also deploys in two stages. Red indicates stage one, and blue indicates stage two. The passenger airbag is a different design than previous models. Stage one is deployed when the control module activates the igniter, 
which shoots a projectile through a diaphragm, igniting a 28-gram pyrotechnic charge. This charge heats up a compressed gas, which quickly expands and inflates the airbag to 80% of its volume. When the control module activates the igniter for stage 2, a 9-gram pyrotechnic charge is activated, which heats up the gas more, inflating the airbag an additional 20%. As with most Saab 95 systems, Tech 2 is used to diagnose the SRS system. Once communication has been set with the SRS and with the Tech 2, scroll down to the menu for F1 Read Values screen. The Read Values screen has been expanded to include monitoring of all the new components. For example, we can monitor the resistance of both stages of the driver's and passenger's airbags. If a DTC indicates there is a problem with one of the airbag circuits, the technician is instructed to plug in the test resistor, part number 86-12-095, to the airbag harness. This test resistor has a nominal value of 3 ohms. The Tech 2 display should indicate approximately 3 ohms with the test resistor inserted in place of the airbag. Based on the Tech 2 value, after the test resistor is connected in place of the airbag, you can determine whether it's the airbag or the harness which is defective. Note that there are two connectors, a green connector for stage 1 and a yellow connector for stage 2. These connectors are a new style. Note the connector lock, which must be removed before the connector can be disconnected from the airbag. Removing this lock tab also engages the shorting tabs inside the airbag, enhancing technician safety by reducing the possibility of a stray static charge or mistaken voltage connection activating the airbag. You can also use read values to monitor other new components, such as the seat belt buckle sensors and the seat belt position sensors. The other proven elements of Saab's supplemental restraint systems remain unchanged for 2002. Seatbelt tensioners and side airbags continue to provide high levels of occupant safety. Diagnostic procedures are unchanged.